Hey guys, and welcome back to City Skylines, Tweetopia, and traffic. Like, so much traffic. So much traffic, in fact, that this uh, landfill here that I've been trying to empty has gone... Oh, well, it started off on 87% full. Just before I started recording, I watched it go up. Up to 88% full. And, like, we're emptying. How has this happened? I don't know. But you can see what the problem is for emptying here. There's this tail back here. Uh, there is what I like to call my grid ring or lock ring, something like that. I don't know. Look at look at this round here. He comes down, he goes in there, and he feeds back in, and they lock up on the same spot. What? Now, all of this problem is obviously because this is the only entranceway into this industrial zone. And, like, back when we started the city, this kind of made sense. Uh, but now that we've thrown these housing estates around and the, the this, this, this thing that I've built here, uh, it no longer makes sense, much like Chewbacca. So what we've got to do is try, try, and do some things over here. Now, what I'm going to do, get brutal with it. Um, let's, let's just take all these down. We are going to take this down to nubs, uh, like this. Wow, the uh, the bulldozer is loud. I saw. Sorry if it's too loud. I should have got that in editing. Okay, and from this brutal nubby system here. Now, what I really wanted to do was to actually level this all off, put down some roads, and then figure out how the highway was going to connect to that. But traffic, just just but traffic. So we're getting <laughs> but traffic. Uh, but so we're going to have to try and figure out how this works or how we can make it work. Sorry. Okay. What I'm going to do is go from a nice big uh, curvy line. I'm just going to pull this forwards. About there looks good. And then bring it in on a nice curved line. Now that, that was a little bit too... A uh, little bit less curved than what, than what I wanted. A little bit too curved. Yeah. Uh, I think we're going to go with that. And then this one... Look, it almost looks like it wants to come off of that little T-junction there, doesn't it? So we'll do that and then we'll try and break that there. Does that look good? Looks good to me. Okay, all these lines manage to keep in place. And suddenly everywhere has a way in and out. Now, we need to try and make this actually be a half-decent um, interchange system here. We, wa we want it to be able to do all the things that we need interchanges to do. Uh, I'm going to pop this up here. No, too, too far. I'm going to pop this here and then bring this on a page up. Hopefully up and over. Yeah, just like that. That's actually exactly what I wanted. And then we can go here and bring it down. Oh, it doesn't like it. It doesn't like it. That's a shame. Okay. Let's try and do this uh, this way and down. There must be an area somewhere where it's going to allow me to do it. No, okay. We'll go forwards a little bit then without the down. We're just, just going to have a little forwards jump over here. Yeah, that works. That works. And then using the same line, we're going to come forwards page down and go on to that nubby bit. Oh yes. Um, this not so great but we, we will figure that out as we are going along. Uh, we're going to pull this forward. Just do a little one of those. Uh, pull this down and round to here. Does that look about wide enough? Yeah, it looks wide enough to me. Then we page up and if we can, page up over the other side of the road. We can. No, I just want to bring this I don't know, maybe here. Uh, once again, we're going to need the straight bit. Something like so. And then we can use the, the curved roads to bring us down into here. Not the sexiest uh, over and under pass I have done, but I think it's definitely something we can uh, work with here. Now, we want these guys to be able to go over there, but we also want them to be able to get over there. So, I, the way that I would want to do it is kind of with these slip roads, but I think that's probably going to give us a lot, of, uh, a lot of trouble here if I do this like that. Uh, and then this one wants to come down here. Oh, that's very close. Maybe we don't want to do that. Let's try this one here. Uh, and it curves in like that. Now, what I am tempted to do, what I am exceedingly tempted to do, is just, uh, just do something like that. Now, I don't know if this is going to give us a horrendous traffic problem or not. I suspect that it will. I suspect that it will, but we're just trying to get this in place so it can actually do the job that it is intended to do, right? So we'll, we'll try that first, and then, oh, not, maybe not that far. Uh, something like that. Uh, and if it becomes a horrendous mess, we will try and sort it out. But until it becomes that horrendous mess, you know, much like the one above us, mm, I think I might de detect a theme in my building styles that might be the problem. Uh, <laughs> 
Yeah, much like the one above us, we will we will make do until there are problems, and then we will try and solve these problems. Okay, so from there, we want to go from there. I wonder if we could use these just as roundabout parts. I wonder if that's actually a thing. Uh, okay, so the next thing we need to do is connect the train line up. I would have liked to have done something fancy with the train line. Maybe try to get it running down the middle of the... Uh, what was going wrong there, sorry. Down the middle of the highway would have been nice, but I think that might have been a little bit too much. And trying to make it work in the space that we've allocated ourselves, uh, I could see that also being a bit of an issue. We actually wanted to go sort of in there and then bring it more over towards that. Maybe this is where we want to make the turn. Yeah, something like that. And then we can bring it back down to there. Does that look smooth? Yeah, well, I think it does. I think it does. A little bit of a, a smiley, happy face on the go there. He's got two little eyes up there. Almost a Kermit. Almost a Kermit. Right, let's let him roll and see what traffic we get. Okay, I already see that we might be getting a few problems in a few places. This crossover here might be one of the ones in particular. But it seems to be working out okay so far. Uh, the next thing we might want to do is think about how we're going to transfer the guys from up here down and out because they, they do seem to be actually making a nice little way across. This might actually be the one that works here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of a jump cut here. We're just going to sit and watch this, see what's going on, uh, and I'll come back with what is going on. Okay, so I've been watching this for a few minutes now, and there are a few problems that I have noticed. Uh, the first thing I would actually like to point out, look, look, all oh, this has cleared off, so I think we've got a bit of a winner there. This is obviously still a bit of a problem, but we're, that's that's obviously to do with Tree Cutter's Way. Uh, the problem that I have noticed here, and you can start seeing it back up quite a lot, is because these guys like to turn right here. Um, and that's kind of, look at this, causing all this trouble underneath this bridge and stuff. So that, that's something that needs to be uh, addressed. I think the main way we can address that, though, is by actually sending this all the way up and having a bit of a loop at the top. Uh, so I've been trying to figure out what it is that I want to do here when we take everything away. Uh, and obviously I would like this to be the, way, the main way in and out, but how do I then dissem disseminate it amongst all the, the pathways and roads that are going there? And literally all I can think of is... We're, we try and turn there yeah, try and have this as a great big lozenge, lozenge shape up there much like the way we've done this but just have this as highway if you will uh, and then have various various interchanges coming off here into the uh, the, the different bits uh, another thing I have noticed is this gets used an awful lot you can see almost all these guys are coming down this way so I think what I would like to do is upgrade it if I possibly can to a full-size road uh, I'm not sure if that's something that's gonna work kind of does. Okay, we should start getting traffic flowing just a little bit more freely around here because they're not all bu bunching up on this one uh, exit ramp here. Not too impressed with what's going on in this backup system here, but you know, that, that's kind of what's going on. Alright, now this, I think what we're going to do here to try and ease off some of the pressure is just try and run this straight up if we can. Now the, the curve on there is not great. Uh, I think this might even actually, if we stop this, bring me on to starting to wipe out some of these roads. This might be a little bit extreme for the point that we're at, uh, but I would like to get these down. Okay, it's not ideal, and I've definitely had to wipe out more roads than I was hoping that I would, but I think this gives the idea of what I want. I want this going up the middle, and then we'll have, maybe at this angle, maybe at this sideways angle, interchanges coming off. Uh, I, yeah, I think this is good. Can we run this up here like this and then just reverse it around. I believe this is something that can actually happen. We do that and then with the upgrade tool, that's not the upgrade tool, this is the upgrade tool. We can then just right click it. Oh, brilliant. And then we've got everything lined up perfectly. That is super sexy actually. Why didn't this happen when I was doing this? Should we try and make that happen over here? I, I would love that to happen over here. Uh, we'll do that because any time we can get a little bit of height on it, space already occupied. Uh, it just adds a little bit more depth to what we're doing, right? Uh, as we learn from games like Minecraft, depth is what it's all about. Uh, it really doesn't like it there, does it? Or so says a loser that doesn't like to change the world into his uh, into his image. Look at this. Brilliant. Okay, it took a little bit of page upping to make it happen, but there we go. It's brilliant. Uh, now, what are we going to do just generally with this area here? I think it's time to bust out the bulldozer, at least for all this along here, and start thinking about how this new industrial zone is going to function, it's going to look and it's going to uh, work. Now obviously the one thing we want to bear in mind <coughs> is where this train station is. Uh, 
I don't know whether having it this close... Oh, excuse me. I don't know whether having it this close to the highway is actually a good idea or not. Because obviously there's going to be a lot of traffic coming in and out of here. But if we could, like, use this to vent that traffic, maybe we will have it actually a little bit further in. We've got this plaza here. Now, th this was just moved to make this uh, highway fit in. So if we can move this somewhere else, I don't know, let's say here. Uh, we can then think about getting this in somewhere else. Uh, now, where that is going to go is also a little bit beyond me at this present moment in time. Uh, we want to keep this road here because that's doing the, the building, but I think everything else here can get wiped out and we'll start making some serious thoughts about how this is going to work. Oh dear! Oh dear, I, I appear to have broken stuff. So we're going to upgrade this roundabout to... Oh no, we can't. Uh, I was going to say to completely uh, be highway, but we have a little bit of an issue over here. That's unfortunate. I wouldn't... Oh. That, that's not what I meant to do. Please, please, let's take that away. That That's not the thing I wanted. Uh, somehow we need to try and make this work a little bit better. Let's, let's have a look. Uh, my industrial um, demand is probably going to shoot through the roof here. Actually, this works incredibly well. It looks nasty. It looks horrible, but it should work quite well. Uh, let's do that. Where were these power lines going? Were they actually going anywhere? Like, did they actually have to serve a purpose? They appear to do something about taking the power from there over here. I think we can wipe these ones out. I think we can wipe these ones out. Every, everything appears to have a little bit of um, two-way lines on the go. So if we could just get that rid. And maybe roll this back all the way to the Statue of Liberty. I should imagine that's one of the reasons why we've got it there is to power the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, that, that looks good. There. Okay, brilliant. All right, this over here. I think our first major junction is going to take place on the top of the hill here. I mean, where else would these things happen? Now, how can we make this super smooth? I think maybe we're going to have a roundabout here. We go out to about here and bring it in on a right angle, if to all possible. That looks like a right angle. Again, we're going to come out there and come in on a right angle-ish. Uh, once again, out and in. Oh, it doesn't quite snap where I wanted it to, so let's try that. A little bit further out, not too much further out, something like that. And then hopefully we can bring this down and round. Ooh, okay, it's a little bit egg-shaped at the bottom here, but there is our first roundabout on this section here. So if we take some nice big chunky roads here, I think what we're going to do... Let's let, let's let a little bit of simulation run here and think about what we're going to do. Uh, the reason I'm letting the simulation run is to try and get this empty. Tree Cutter's Way is looking pretty good as it is. Uh, I think what we can do is start taking out some of these truck ways. If we can connect Tree Cutter's Way, we're going to do it brutally. We, we are definitely going to do it brutally. We're going to take all these out. Um, I could click and destroy all these. I don't know if this costs me money. No, it doesn't. This is good. Okay, we just want to get these out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. Always better when you can see what you're doing. Trees are nice, but they're a bit of a distraction sometimes. Oh, look, we've got a... What have we got here? We've got a fire station. We can move this over this way for now. Brilliant. Oh, wow, this only has one direction of travel. That will be why we are having a little bit of trouble uh, doing these things here. So if I just do that... Uh, wasn't quite the road I wanted to do. There we go. Uh, Two-way roads. This should hopefully have some stuff going on here. 72% full. It's definitely still emptying. This is good. Uh, now, our industrial demand should be through the roof at this point. Okay, so I think the first crazy plan that I'd like to try. Let's take this out here. And we're going to just basically make a massive roundabout out of these one-way streets up here. Uh, we have this, which is awkwardly in the way. Let's let's get rid of this. Now, there's another fire station there. Is this the same fire station? No, it is a different fire station. Okay, we're going to put it on the same road, though. This is going to be uh, fire lane way, possibly. Yeah, I can't quite fit it on. That's unfortunate. We're going to type it, wipe out a few buildings there. Uh, now, we were dealing with this one-way street. Brilliant. Okay, I don't think this is going to be the sexiest of builds, but uh, we might be able to get something on the go here. Uh, let's try moving all this stuff around so that people can actually appreciate that there are services in this area. Okay, services down. What are we going to do about zoning this place up now? It looks pretty horrendous, it's got to be said. Uh, so we can try and start joining some things around. Now, I would like to sever some connections here, like 
this one can go, and this can actually go as well. And this is going to start making everything feel just a little bit more uh, of its own area, just so it doesn't really join up with this much, this bit much. This this uh, housing estate here really needs to be kept kind of sterile from this industrial state, if at all possible. Uh, I don't think that is going to be at all possible. I don't think it's going to be all that possible. Uh, let's try and bring that there. Let's see what that does. Uh, that gives us a nice little zone there. I like the, the, the bridge here. Um, but isn't that the one that goes all the way over here? So that should be pretty nice, actually. Uh, the one that I think I'm going to wipe out might be this one. Uh, if we don't wipe it out, we're definitely going to bring it sort of over here rather than having it around. We've got a dead end here. That's um, unfortunate. And some might say a little bit useless. So let's get this right uh, which one which one do we want to change let's change this and see what happens okay next job is to try and fill this up with uh, a whole load of industrial areas now I'm gonna use these roads uh, just because they're nice normal roads and what I would like to do is try and copy the curve of the uh, the train line here if we can that might actually be a little bit close no 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 we're all good there uh, so something like this looks like a good road and then using that as a template we'll come down here and put another one in no no not close enough not close enough something like this might be a little bit of overlap there but we can make do with that and then I think we're gonna have a road coming from this central bit here now, I'm sure I'm making all sorts of uh, you know, traffic mistakes here. Uh, if you spot something incredibly obvious that I'm doing wrong, uh, I don't know, maybe I'm putting my junctions too close together, or uh, like one thing I have noticed, I end up a lot with this, uh, this broken um, zoning area. Now, I'm fairly sure that's because I like to use curves, whereas if we just uh, slammed it in as hard as we could, uh, with, like on a nice grid, grid pattern, uh, we should actually get full coverage, but you yeah. know. These look better like this, surely, right? Okay, industrial is zooming into this area. I can't remember what this is. It's Birch Heights. Now, do we want to fill in this zone here? I kind of feel like we want to. Let's take a little bit of a road here and see if we can't do something. Oh, no, not a curvy road. Just a, just a little something like that. Do we get zoning there, or is that now just a bridge? Ah, it's a bridge. That's That's unfortunate. So that was a bit of a failure. Let's try putting it actually, let's come from here up and across and maybe this will be a little bit better. Um, yeah, definitely, like seeing how it's not coming up from here seems to actually make all the difference. Uh, we still have our industrial zoned up here. Got to make sure we fill them all in. These actually appear to be a little bit naff. Um, you can see here how they're only like one or two deep, and I would like to try and make these a little bit better. Uh, but that, that all we'll have to do for now. We'll, we'll fill all this in and get everyone looking good. Right, somewhere else I would like to try and get some sort of train line, uh, not train line, industrial estate in, is here. Uh, now this has got a one-way road on it at the moment. That is no good for us uh, right now. I'm sure we'll be able to do something with it at some point. No, I just right-clicked instead of normal clicked. But as it stands, that's not quite what we want to do. So if I just... I don't know, should we grid it out here? I was literally just complaining about how because I don't use grids, I don't get the fill, the, the fill space that I want. Uh, but if we do something like this... Oh, look. Um, if we turn off the snap to grid, we should be able to just... Yeah, look at that. I like that. I like that a lot. Now, hopefully, if we turn the snap to grid on... Now, the question is, which one are we going to follow? That is perpendicular that is following that road right I, th I think that's what we've got there i think that's what we've got there uh how are we going to make this work elsewhere i don't know i mean if we come down here this is a guide road not a uh not a, a an actual road i don't know what the word is there um <laughs> not not a fill road there you go we, we got rid of it so that should help and then hopefully if we come down here we get something very similar okay all right it's not going too bad. We can we can definitely deal with the things that we have done here. Uh, let's fill this up. Have I still got it paused? Let's let this run. Let's let this run. Uh, so because I've been waiting for this, I've not really been able to do the complete redevelopment that I was kind of hoping for. We've kind of hit a bit of a compromise on the zone. It, it looks all right. It looks all right. And of course, this area... Wait, 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 wait. wait. This area has just been cut off from all its fire access, hasn't it? Of course it has. Now, where are the stupid fire ones we put down? Let's, not that one. This one. Where are the ones? No, not, not like that. 
I'm sure that like we've got two here that we, we need to move. Like so, this one can definitely come over here. I mean, look at this. Look at this poor fire coverage over here. I think we're going to kick these guys out of their house. Yeah, right here. And hopefully that should make everyone just a little bit, a little bit happier, a little bit happier. I'm not sure what we're going to do with the this back here. What I'd like to do is get rid of this road and the entrance to that tunnel. That tunnel is gonna come somewhere just a little bit more useful at some point. I'm not sure when exactly that's gonna happen, but at some point there's gonna be just a little bit more usefulness there. Now is this a two-way road or a one-way road? This is a two-way road up there, and the building site is still at 60%. The building site, the landfill site is still at 60%. All right, and time is running out on us, so I think we're just going to spend a little bit of time quickly filling up all the holes that I can see in this area. Like, So we'll do something like that. Uh, this middle section, I think we're going to save for something spectacular. I'm not sure what that spectacular will be, but we are going to save it for something spectacular. Uh, this over here is all right. I think what we want to do is bring this for about here, bring it up and across the back of this lot. If we get it to just touch stuff, I don't know, um, let's bring it a little further down and then we can, yeah, like that. Uh, and then if we can get it to come up, round up there, and then we're going to have a nice sharp corner here, um, where it can, something like that, in fact I want to, no, if we just double click it, it does the same as a straight road, right, there we go. Uh, and then, invalid surface, I am not accepting that, something like this? I don't know, I don't know, maybe, maybe a bit more of a, an incoming one or perhaps a dead end. Perhaps we'll have a couple of dead ends actually, we'll go this way with this one. Okay, and then off of here, we're going to come up here like that, and then we're going to grid it left and right. I think we're going to have horrendous traffic problems with this, here in particular, uh, but we'll see what happens. If it, if it gets too bad, I'll just throw this across here like this. What I, what, what I want to do, now that I've done that, is go for one one direction of travel only. Go up and around this way. Like so. Up and around. I, I don't really like doing this too much, but because um, you end up with just this, this whole ring that ends up all gridded and nasty. Uh, but it should be alright there. And if we just fill this in again quickly, we should hopefully have met all our industrial demand, which appears to be a thing. Uh, if I look down at the RCI, uh, down here, you see we've met all our industrial demand. And whilst we're here, should we just tidy up these little housing estates? Okay, brilliant. I'm going to throw a road across, not a road, a pathway, which is of course in here, this and that. I just want to join this up with this over here. There we go, perfect. But with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, guys. I will see you next time, where we're going to make sure that this is actually a functioning section of our city. Probably, somehow, I don't know, I, I, I still haven't mastered how to make anything a functioning section of my city. But yes, I will see you then when we're going to do that! Bye! No, no, look at, look at the state of it, that is not how we're going to leave it.